Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu and I am here once again for Evangelion. It's been a hell of a day with uh, Mob airing and Dororo airing this morning, and both of them were good, so I'm going to continue watching both of them. That means that suddenly Monday, my least crowded day, is now one of my most crowded days. Now, somebody in the Discord has suggested that maybe I would consider uh, switching Ava to What the Fuck Wednesday instead of Mecha Monday. And I'll take that under consideration. I'm not going to switch it yet because I still think I can get it out. It might just come out a little bit later for patrons than usual on Mondays. But we'll see. If I end up, like, feeling that I'm too tired to watch Ava, I, I want to be at my best for Ava, you know? So we'll see. And Mob and, and Dororo both air fairly early in the morning, so I have to get those out first. So it might end up being that I'm too tired for Ava, in which case I will consider moving it to Wednesday. But we also we don't have that many weeks of Ava left. We've got, what, four more after this? Yeah, four more and then, and then end of Ava. Oh, it's six more. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. Uh, it's, yeah, it's 26 episodes, Dur. Um, and this is the last episode that's in the normal length. That's 23 minutes long. The next couple of episodes appear to be, yeah, they're the director's cut. So, which I've been told is a good thing, but, um, they'll be a little bit longer. Nice, more Ava. And then uh, somebody asked me earlier today whether I would watch End of Ava, and the answer is yes, I will be watching End of Ava at the end of Ava. <laughs> um, and I've been advised, strongly advised, not to take a break between finishing the TV series and actually watching the End of Ava. So I'll do something, it'll be some kind of big dealio, we'll see. See how it plays out, but it'll be some kind of big thing to watch the last couple of episodes of the TV series and End of Ava. Anyway, Evangelion. Shit got real last episode. I mean, shit has been real for a while. It's been real for a while, but last episode, oh buddy, oh man, uh, Ava awakened and not happy. Took uh, an angel's, like, Weird tendril things look like paper almost, and just turned them into an arm, and it became a human giant arm. Ah! Uh, Ray appeared to sacrifice herself using an N2 mine to try and blow up the angel, which did not work. But, uh, I assume that she's not dead, but maybe she is. She did say that she could be replaced, and I don't know what that means. Uh, does that mean they can just generate a new ray or the dummy plot? I don't know. No idea. Um, shit is real. Let's find out where it goes from here. There was a really awesome conversation between Shinji and Kaji. Kaji gave him some good advice, some some good thoughts from Kaji. Uh, we'll see how this plays out i just i don't know what to expect at this point i feel like we're heading into the end game and uh that's kind of terrifying Whew. let's get into it before we do quickly shill stuff if you like the video like the video if you're not subbed and you want more go ahead and sub and if you are subbed and you're not getting the videos then uh you, you you might want to hit the bell, because apparently that can help. If you really like this content, you want me to be able to keep doing it, or you just want the next week's Ava early, uh, patreon.com slash tiabu is the place to go. You can give me money, and I can eat and keep doing what I'm doing, and give you Discord access and, like, early content and some cool stuff like that. So, if that... If you if you're inclined to, to to give me money because I you like what I do, then thank you. Speaking of thanking people, we've got a new shout out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know who it is. Actually, you don't yet because it's a new name on the esteemed colleague tier in Patreon. It's Colin Roney. Colin, thank you so much for joining GK 
and a couple of other people on the $15 esteemed colleague tier. That means going above and beyond for no other reason than to help my channel do better. And like all that I can give you in, in exchange for that is a shout out here as you requested on Neon Genesis Evangel Evangelion. Evangelion. Ava. Colin, thank you. Your money goes a long way. It buys me a lot of eggs, and that means that I can eat and eat well. And so I am just kind of stunned and extremely grateful. So, Colin, you're the man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Now, let's get into the episode, shall we? There will be notes up on screen, as always. And we are ready to go. So, I'm going to hit the button. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube with the timer-based version and your own media, the beep-beep timer that goes boop-boop-boop-beep and then the beep and the green light happen on the same frame that Ava starts playing on my screen will go here. Uh, let me zoom these notes in. Yeah. This is matcha, by the way. It's delicious. Yes. Tasty snacks. That is some serious nightmare fuel. Good question. Form of the mind. Form of the man. Oh. Wow, this green. Holy, is that a face? <laughs> huh. 
Right. Wow, that is some nightmare fuel. Yep. He can't get out. What is he experiencing in there? Whoa. There's no federal involvement. It has been a month since the terrorist act. Terrorist act. Wow, this is the Shinji scene. That which can be called it? What? Right? Nobody's ever done this before. How you doing, Shinji? Yeah. That's a good question.
Same fist clench. You go fear escape. Weaving a story to oral stage. Salvage project. Okay. Now it's been a month?
mother. Something a psychologist came up with a long time ago. Fuck, that was hard to follow. Hmm. Stick on the cigarettes. Is that her way of saying she's never been with anyone else?
This time it's a fully piano version. What? Um, let me see. There was a series of flashes. There was a series of flashes. Where was it? Of like text on screen and random Im images. Not random, of course. Definitely not random, but... God, that is such a great image. This thing wrapped up. And it looks like it's got a, a human... human eye. Like one side of its head is human and the other side has the green eye. But I can't tell if that's just part of the bandages. No, it's just part of the bandages. Okay. Man, that eye that just is like, is continuously looking into the camera from multiple angles. We see it later from the side and it's staring. <sighs> the color palette in this room has changed to a pinkish purple when it was dark red last time. Entry plug won't connect. Right. Pilot vanished. Right. It is something created by man in man's own image. Uh-huh. Okay. Ray, Asuka. This, this scene with Asuka on the bed, I think this is, like, identically framed to a scene where Shinji, like, lays face first on his bed. But I could be wrong. That which can be called Shinji's life. Hmm. Interesting phrasing. Yeah, so we're at the side now and it's staring. Staring, staring. Really creepy. Fantastic image. Um, but I, I really want to find just this sequence of, of flashes. Okay, is it is it in this sequence? It might be. Not seeing any text. Sorry if you have epilepsy. Okay. No, nope, those are all Japanese. Angel names, I assume.
Enemy, enemy, enemy. Right. Ah. Here we go. As if you didn't run away all by yourself. Did they break? They broke. Did my subs break? Is that what just happened? Yeah. Gendo Ikari. Oh my god, my subs broke. God damn it. Alright, well, let's see what we can catch. Yu Yu Ikari, child, mother, stranger, self. The ego, hypocrisy, the weak, self. Breasts, inferiority complex. There were a couple more that I missed. Let me see if I can open this in MPCHC and get a better, uh, better dealio here. Because if I remember correctly, it generally doesn't break. Um, let me see. Subtitle track, Anglo subs, and then audio track. Japanese 5.1 and then let's reduce the audio level and I don't remember where we were oh here we are perfect that's right it's got to be okay great and then it's control right arrow to frame by frame Ray Gendo Yui father Mother, child, stranger, self, the ego, hypocrisy, needs, repression, the weak, identification, self. This is working, right? Yeah, okay, good. Self, internalization, breasts. Inferiority complex, will, symbiosis, solitude, compensation, reality, ideal, inculcation, mind and body, fear, insecurity, value, dependence, escape, estrangement, loss, oral stage, Session. Gando. Interesting. I was actually going to tell him that I hate him. What's that scene? Welcome to Nerf, right? All of these conversations are different from the way that they actually happened. They're the way that Shinji has internalized them. Interesting. Form of the mind, form of the man. Okay, let's go through the notes then. Angry Ava eating an angel? Yes. Cannot stop it. Right. Was this Kaji's plan? I don't think so. Uh, they're not capable of generating S2 engines, but it is capable of taking one in. Yikes. 
were we not mistaken to trust in Gendo? And then um, there was an interesting line related to that later, that they do have a bell on Gendo, but the bell didn't act. And then it cuts immediately to Kaji, as if he's the bell that would have have rung when Gendo strayed from the path. But Kaji doesn't seem to be close enough to Gendo. Hmm. Maybe I'm just wrong about the way that, that Kaji works. Uh, they need to transfer the, mag the Magi system, right? They are using the backup secondary control center and they don't have the Magi. At least for now. Can they still unit use unit 1 and that's used to transition us in? And it is spooky, as we've said, the the bandaged up, restrained Ava. Whew, yikes. Um, somebody says something, a great line, that we cannot treat it carelessly based on what we can see and measure. Uh, and clearly there is more to everything than what can be seen and measured, considering that Shinji dissolves into a quantum foam, quantum state of some kind, in the LCL. <sighs> okay, yeah. What we can see and measure is not everything. Um, right, who's the bell? I don't know. Uh, get out of the robot, Shinji. And, yeah, he's gone. He's been taken in. What is he experiencing in there? Well, we get to find out. A lot of crazy shit. Um, Misato accuses, accuses Ritsuko of having just copied what they found at the South, South Pole. But she says, in, in response, it's not just a copy, it has a will, or a will of its own. So, are they artificial angels imbued with a human will? Something like that? Hmm. Hmm. Ray is alive. Right, we found that out. Uh, Asuka gets really angry when Misato calls to tell her that Ray is alive. Like, really angry. Uh, we get that really interesting phrasing, that which can be called Shinji's life. I guess because he's in a non-living state right now, he's in weird quantum dissolved state, but uh, that's that which can be called Shinji's life. So we keep talking about having lost his ego border and floating in quantum form, as if the, the ego or the sense of self is the only thing that keeps a person together, at least when they're in a solution like LCL. Um, okay, so he's floating in, in a dissolute, sort of dissolved state, so they, they need to reconstruct his body and anchor his psyche. And then we move into Shinji's perspective. We get flashes of everyone, and they're all single-frame flashes of... Basically every character that he's met so far. All part of my world, but I don't understand. And then we start seeing the enemy, the angels. Enemy, 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 enemy. Why do I fight? Maybe I don't need a reason, but he does. He's shown repeatedly that he, he cannot fight without a reason. He needs a reason. He craves a reason, at least. Those that threaten me, us. This was interesting. And this was where I started thinking... Um, down a line that we'll we'll get into later. But there's this this constant um through line in the episode of like me us uh and like the the becoming one we'll talk about it when we get to the becoming one. So they are the enemy. What's wrong with protecting that which is threatened, right? Like something comes at me, I fight back. Maybe. Then he goes into another enemy, 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 enemy speech, and we start seeing Gendo interspersed with the angels, and then it becomes just Gendo. And then he, damn, 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 damn. And his previous rage is recontextualized to be entirely directed at Gendo. We have the conversation with Ray on the elevator again, and it's a different conversation. It's a conversation in Shinji's head. It's the way that he's internalized it. Interesting. Yeah, it's all rem all remembered hazily, not quite what was said. No, I knew, I knew the Ava. And that time I ran away from mother and from father. And then it's called uh, Weaving a Story 2, Oral Stage. And 
we find out later through a radio broadcast that that it is referring to what I wondered if it was the oral stage of Freudian psychology. Okay. Um, we find out that the way that they're going to try to save Shinji is based on experiments that were done from 10 years ago, so something similar has happened in the past and has failed. So we try again, and it's been a month. We go, and we are having more conversations with Ray. Kindness, warmth, what is loneliness, happiness? What is happiness? Are others kind to you? Yes. Why? Because I'm an Ava pilot. So self-identifies as an Ava pilot, and the way he sees it, Everyone is only kind to him because he's an Ava pilot, and to an extent that seems to be correct. Has anyone shown him kindness? Except either directly because he is an Ava pilot or to get him to pilot the Ava? I don't think so. Hmm. And f I must fight... Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's why I'm allowed to be here. It's all that sustains me to pilot and to fight what everyone calls the enemy. Not the enemy that I believe is the enemy, but what everyone calls the enemy. Everyone says it's true, therefore it must be true, right? So I must lose. I mustn't lose. I must win. I must win, as I am told, or nobody will treat me kindly. Then we start getting the lines. Do your best, do your best, do your best, do your best. Gambate, gambate, gambarimas, gambarimas. Good work, Shinji. His father's line ends it. When I pilot, I am praised. It's a combination of desire for praise and strong desire to show everyone that he can do it. Hmm. And then he starts just like almost whimpering somebody be nice to me somebody be kind to me i deserve it and ray says i am nice to you hmm or was it ray or misato i couldn't tell which voice actress it was and then we get the repeated line said by misato asuka and ray do you want to become with become one with me all the lines are identical, except that Rei calls him Ikari-kun instead of Shinji. All the rest call him Shinji. They're all blending together. Relax and release your soul. So this is when I started writing random words. Uh, dissolution, oneness, loss of self, surrender of soul. And is that what the Human Instrumentality Project is? All as one entity. Because there's this, this idea in fiction of, like, combining human minds or removing the borders between people's egos. It's not, like, a common idea, but, but it's common enough. And just the focus that we have here in this episode, do you want to become one with me? It's a very, very comforting feeling. And the fact that he's experience all, experiencing all of this while he's in a state where his ego basically doesn't exist. He's become one with the Ava fluid stuff. Hmm. Maybe a harbinger of what's to come. Yeah, surrender your soul. Give up yourself. Ego border, lots of science w words. Uh-huh. The plug vents, all the LCL. Right. You are the person you are now because you piloted. You cannot deny that you are who you are because you have piloted the Ava. And they stop saying the Ava. They just start, they start just saying Ava. Because you piloted Ava. As if it's a name almost. But you must decide what you will do now for yourself. And then Misato has a kind of hilarious line, if it can't save even one life, then what good is science? Gah! <laughs> um, hmm, a little bit corny, but it's still great. Smell, a person's smell, and it's his mother. His mother's smell. We hear lines from his mother, talking to Gendo. 
you have the will to live anywhere can be heaven. Even if it is this hell after the second impact. You'll have many chances to find happiness, but only if he's seeking it, you know? Like, plenty of people, everyone has all these chances to find happiness. That doesn't mean they're going to find it. It doesn't mean they're necessarily seeking it. <laughs> and then Shinji experiences his mother's soul again. That's what that blue light is, I, I have to assume. And it flashes blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. And then we have this, um, we have Misato and uh, uh, Ritsuko in the car. And it's a very difficult scene to follow because there are two sets of subtitles going at once. One at the top of the screen and one at the bottom. So let's go through it again, make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, I can understand, but I guess that's what's called the oral stage. The restoration of Unit 01 will be complete the day after tomorrow. Wow, something a psychologist came up with a long time ago? Yep, Freud. In the end, I guess even humans will even use God's powers as a tool. Angels? Love that we've got uh, Akagi's face in the mirror. That's pretty awesome. In other words, it's where you want to be with your mother forever. It refers to people who want to always be dependent on someone. So that pretty much sums up Shinji. He, he always wants to be dependent. He's dependent on the praise and the love of others. Big time. Hmm. I guess humans will even use God's powers as a tool. Someone like that among my acquaintances too, and you're a lot like him. Some on the committee have even suggested a freeze. The artificial human Evangelion. From your girlfriend's standpoint, being your lover, your mother, and what else? Your kid sister. Everything. For being man-made, don't you think the black box is unknown? of unknowns is too large? Certainly. Being all of these things for you is pretty rough. Yeah. Taking advantage of her place as a lover. Using it as a, your personal outlet for your libido. Mm. Not that I care since Shinji was ultimately saved. Well, that might have been a little extreme. That wasn't me. It was you, probably. Probably. A woman is very sensitive to whether someone loves her or not. Hmm. Could be talking about any number of the women in the show. <laughs> That you're looking for a mother you can sleep with in her. Yikes. Go out for a drink. I was about splitting up with you. Sorry, I've got somewhere to go today. Akagi knows what she means by that, though. She might be one of those nice girls that are pretty rare these days. Hmm. I see. They say goodbye, and then... Accusatory. Yes, I'm in no position to talk. And then they converse, and it's it's this still frame, couple of still frames, them or me again, and then this still frame, which is just like long, and then it ends with. Yeah, putting weird things up there. Uh, that's her hand with the pill, right? Hmm. I wonder what it is. Present for you, the first in eight years. Though it may be the last. Boom! Okay, well, I have no idea what happened. And, uh, Shinji's back. Yay! <laughs> Shinji's back. Uh, uh, the, uh, this was an episode. I don't know what's happening. I think that's about the point. Yeah.
Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to say at this point. This episode felt, um... Very cleverly done, but very low budget. There was a lot of shot reuse, you know? A lot of still frames from the past spliced together into very, very quick succession. Very effective. The voice acting was amazing. But it felt like there was very little budget here. I wonder if this is about the point where they were forced to change their, uh, their time slot and had, like, scheduling problems. I don't know when that's supposed to happen. The Ava, all wrapped up in sort of bandagey, restrainty things, it's fucking terrifying. It's a hell of an image. Really cool. That sequence with the three girls all repeating the same phrase, all of them nude, that was strange. It's a very, very comforting feeling. I want to become one with me. It sounds like it's just sexual, but it's more than that. It has to do with the, the, the breakdown of the ego barrier, as they call it. I wonder if we go the route of saying that the separation between individuals is an illusion. Or is the separation really there and we're trying to break it down? I feel like this is what the Human Instrumentality Project is. I don't know. It's been so mysterious. But now that we're getting some inkling of weird shit about breaking down ego, and we're coming toward the end stretch of the series, I figure that that which has been established, the Human Instrumentality Project, is like, big end goal might have something to do with this weird okay i'm gonna wrap it up i guess i've been tiaboo this has been ava episode 20 i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have and as always i hope to catch you in the next one peace <laughs>